Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick tip on keeping the transform tool on while you are in edit mode and pushing, pulling, and playing with vertices, faces, and edges. Don't know what I mean? Watch and you'll see. Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to get into edit mode, which I can do by either just being in this layout workspace or modeling workspace and just hitting tab. Okay, that brings me into edit mode. I could just go into modeling here and same thing. Now, in Blender 2.8, we now have this marquee tool on, the select box on by default, which that, what that means is I can left click, select, and drag, and I can select, right now I'm on vertices, okay, so I can just select as many things as I want here. Vertices, I can select edges, or I can select faces, okay? But like we've always worked in Blender, you can select things and you can hit the G key on the keyboard to grab and you can just kind of arbitrarily move stuff around, okay? Or you can hold down the control key while you're doing that and you can hit G, hit the control key and you can snap, all right? Or you can hold down shift while you're on there and you can move really slowly and, and incrementally, all right? And the same thing works for hitting the R key to rotate and hitting the S key to scale. Okay, this has existed for a long time, nothing new here. Cool thing that we have is the ability to use the transform tool, which exists over here. And the transform tool gives us this manipulator handle that gives us the ability to scale. All right, we can scale, we can rotate, we can move and we can do a whole bunch of things and lock it to each axis by just operating on that one thing that we want to operate with, right? Okay. So this is a great thing. But if I click off of that selection and I try to click and drag another selection, all right, I can always just left click now and I can select or use shift and select and I can select a number of things at, you know, at the same time. But if I'm out here and I want to use this tool, I have to kind of go over and switch and use this tool, select, and then go back to the transform tool, or I have to use a keyboard shortcut, spacebar, shift, and then go in here and do that. That's kind of a pain. But a quick way to do this while keeping this tool on is, let's say I do something here, okay, and I, and I make this operation and I do that and that's cool, and I want to go over here and I want to select you know both of these things and do the same thing if I drop that tool it doesn't automatically go back into the select box select mode but what I could do is I can hold down control and right click and I get the lasso tool and then I can keep this tool on and then whatever else I select okay I can always have that tool on so I deselect I hold down control right click and drag deselect control and I always keep this thing on so I don't have to keep switching between these or hitting these keyboard shortcuts and constantly going between those I can just hold down control get a whole new selection here all right or add to my selection and keep that manipulator handle on for the transform tool okay this is just a workflow that I like because I like to kind of just have this thing on as I'm working and I don't want to keep having to bounce back and forth and turn that on again and I like having this transform tool because it has move, scale, and rotate in one interface here that I can use. Does that make sense? Okay. So to reiterate, if I'm on this transform tool, in order to select, I just hold down control, right click and drag, and I get the selection lasso, and then I can keep this tool on. All right. So if you're modeling, this is going to help you a lot by saving you a lot of keyboard shortcuts and a lot of just clicking around to get different things and it's gonna let you work a lot faster so just go in here build up this muscle memory and I think you're gonna like this so if you like this video and you got something out of it hit like subscribe share it and hit that little bell notification because I keep making more and you'll want to see when they're released thanks bye